We know an operation now that tells us the base that has an exponent of 2. We know that we can answer the question, what number to the second power equals 81, using the square root. But what if we have a higher power? What if we want to answer the question, what number to the fourth power equals 12,096? The square root isn't what we want for that. We want the fourth root. We write that same radical symbol, but now inside the corner here, we write the number 4. When we ask what number to the fourth power gives us 12,096, we are taking the fourth root of 12,096. So notice that this number is going to be the same as the exponent that we're getting rid of. We can do this by trial and error. 1 to the fourth power is 1. 2 to the fourth power is, let's see, 16. 3 to the fourth power is 81. 4 to the fourth power is 256. 5 to the fourth power is 625. 6 to the fourth power, oh, there it is. We've discovered that 6 to the fourth power is 1,296. Therefore, the fourth root of 1,296 equals 6. These roots that are of higher degree than the square root, the third root, the fourth root, the fifth root, are all referred to as higher radicals. There are two ways that we can use our calculator to help us with these higher radicals. If we want to generate a list of specific powers of numbers, we can use the table feature. For example, suppose we wanted to take the third root of 729. We want to say what number to the third power is 729. Well, I can get a list of numbers to the third power by just putting in x to the third on my calculator, hitting second, then table. All right, here are my numbers, and here are their third powers. So I scroll through the table until I see 729. 9 to the third power is 729. Therefore, the cube root of 729 is 9. We can also use our calculator to calculate higher roots directly. Say we wanted to take the fifth root of 2401. The higher root is in the math menu. To use it, First we enter, uh, this number is called the index. So in this case we want the fifth root. We'll press the math key, and you see the little ra radical with an X outside it? It's option five. And then we'll enter whatever's inside the radical. That's technically called the radicand. And notice that that X root tool didn't give us any parentheses. This isn't a problem if your calculator is one of the ones that actually types things inside the root. But if not, you probably want to put your radicand in parentheses. It's okay if it's just one whole number, but being in the habit of just always doing it is best. And notice that that gave me some horrible decimal. Like square roots, Higher roots are typically irrational, so we could round this 
4.74. Why? If we take 4.74 to the fifth, that's about 2401. Not exactly, but quite close. That's as close as we would expect to get with this rounded answer. So like the square roots, higher roots are often irrational. And like square roots, higher roots are evaluated at the same time as exponents and serve as grouping symbols.